Hello, my name is Toya Tatum. Um, I am the CEO of World Class Training Center, WCTC. Uh, we are a training center that provides various training services. Um, we do all of the American Red Cross certifications, so your basic life support, um, the adult pediatric CPR, AED, and first aid as well. Um, also, we do phlebotomy training. We do have a session coming up January 5th, 2021. You can go on our website and register for any of these trainings or certifications at WCTC usa.com um, you can also call the office and we can definitely walk you through or get you registered um, over the phone as well um, and that's 810-877-6515 and we also have uh, inter interview etiquette uh, training it's a $20 uh, workshop and it's about a two and a half hour um, workshop for you to complete there and definitely will give you some uh, good key points um, to remember about going into an interview so that you put your best foot forward um, and also the reason for this video um, is to do a few little short uh, snippets of some topics that have been brought to my attention um, on my life coaching um, side of things so that is also a service that we're offering there's three different tiers associated with the my life coaching services um, they can be done either in office and they can also be done virtually um, so you can go on also on the website and register uh, for a callback for that so you can discuss your options um, and we do a free consultation um, for the life coaching um, sessions as well so to kind of figure out you know if this is going to be something beneficial for you um, and how we can get the most out of it so the first topic that I want to address um, is from Carmen and she asked how to deal with being a single parent um, so my first recommendation for that is to live in your reality um, so for whatever reason you know you and the children or our child's biological mother or father didn't find success together and that's okay um, things happen you know it's not favorable but it's also not the end of the world uh, sometimes things can happen to us and we kind of get stuck um, and not really know how to move forward out of that due to you know a lot of it is pain you know it's, it's very difficult to move past pain um, and it's one of those things that you know can come and go you know you think you're kind of over it something happens you know and you're right back in the thick of things again so um, to always kind of remember um, that this is your reality not to base it on someone else's but this is your reality and so for whatever reason it is what it is so uh, you want to start working towards gaining self-reflection because you're going to need this and I mean every day um, the reason self-reflection is really good it's not just um, it's a good tool to have for yourself and dealing with people, um, whether it's in the workplace, socially, or um, in relationships, um, but really more so with your kids too, because um, think of it this way, they are many versions of you and um, the other biological parent. Um, and so the better you know yourself, the better you know, you'll know your kids and what to kind of expect and um, how to kind of ride that wave, you know, of being that parent. Um, there's some ups and downs and uh, trust me, I, you know, I had two and, um, you know, it comes with its challenges and um, the best thing is always to just remember that they are a part of you. So the more you know about yourself, the better you can, you know, kind of face those uh, challenges and also face them with a smile. It's almost, uh, you know, humorous um, to look at it that way. Um, work on a vision board, you know, especially um, if you're not financially where you feel you need to be. Um, vision boards is something that, you know, people don't um, think happens, you know, in everybody's lives or on a day to day thing. You know, it's not something that people commonly do. Um, you see it in the movies, you know, people talk about it, um, but it is a good tool. Um, it's a motivational factor. I look at it like um, things are out of sight, out of mind. Um, and when you are constantly faced with what you put on that vision board, it kind of holds you accountable um, to try to reach those goals um, that you're trying to accomplish. Um, also develop a strong support system. Um, this can be best friends, cousins, grandparents, your parents, church, family, um, you know, neighbors, um, you know, even if it's just for an hour or so for you to kind of um, recharge or get yourself back together um, to, to watch the kids um, babysitting um, for like if it's for work or, you know, setting up, make sure you have child care um, and just also just um, like in a day to day um, kind of situation where things come up. It's good to have a strong support system. So being able to identify 
who those people are to you um, is like a good plus. Great, great um, place to start. Um, I also suggest you read, research, and then read some more. Um, being educated is being prepared, you know, so um, you can read every book on the shelf about um, parenting or other situations or uh, raising children, um, and it may not apply to you right at that moment, you know, so it may be a future uh, thing that comes up later on down the line, and then, you know, you're faced with it, and it's like, oh, you know, I know how to handle this, you know, because you had already kind of read up on it, researched on it and stuff, and so that, and therefore, you're prepared. Um, sign up for some therapy. I mean, you know, you don't have to be quote unquote crazy to go to therapy. Um, therapy is something that um, we do not utilize as a tool as much as we should. Um, it's to help you put things in perspective more so. Um, you know, not everything that we go through requires you to be on medication, you know, um, or anything drastic. Um, sometimes it's just a matter of being able to put things that happen to us in its place um, because sometimes without that again that's some of the biggest obstacles that we can run across um, in life on a daily basis um, another thing i suggest is organizing your time um, this means work parenting um, and definitely me time you have to have time to recharge your batteries so you know depending on the age of your child or children um you know you may want to label this time as something that they can understand um so that when you are um in this time frame of that day or week or whatever you set it out to be that your children understand um you know that that time is important um and to be able to give you you know that space and if there's they're young enough where they need supervision then definitely that's where that support system would come back into play um, with that as well to kind of help you out uh, with that me time um, have some hobbies you know um, this can even be something that you know you and your child or children can do together you know it's something that you know kids can look forward to you guys can look forward to as a family that you know you're doing together it creates bonding time um, and you know you can get to know more about your children they can get to know a little bit more about you and then fun comes out of it and where you know there's fun there's laughter and so that's always um, good food for the soul um, so these are just a few ideas you know to assist you in your progress um, along the way um, and please remember that your children can be the center of your world but don't forget that there's a whole universe out there all right, again, this is Toya Tatum, and I'm coming to you from World Class Training Center, WCTC, located inside Michigan Works Building in downtown Flint. Have a good day.